Hello my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to my channel Hummingbird Tarot. I'm going to be channeling a message for you for December 2021 moving forward into the new year 2022 um, from Spirit. A uh, little advice, a uh, little insight on what's up, uh, was coming up for this month and like I said carrying on. Um, first of all I'm going to be pulling a unknown, wild unknown archetype card for you kind of set the tone also uh i pick i i found your soul song for this reading as well um which i'll tell you a little bit after i pull this card and how it connects spirit can you give us an archetype for our beautiful scorpios today These cards are a little sticky, so be patient with me here. Spirit, what is our Scorpio's archetype for today, for December, carrying them through to 2022? And your song had to do with, um, oh, there it is. Wow, it almost put itself into place. Let's see what it is. The seed. Yes, the seeds of what we plant um, can grow amazing things. The small seed can turn into a tree, can turn into food and sustenance. Um, it's a beautiful archetype um, that connects us to the earth. And what I was going to say about your song was, it's our, my, I'm seeing our Scorpios here being very, um, very drawn in two directions. The spiritual um, realm is calling to you, pulling to you strongly. Your connection with the earth is strong and it's calling to you as well. Um, you almost have too many things pulling at you. Um, to be able to focus, but let's see a little bit more about what this seed is um, offering you as an archetype. Just give me a moment to look it up here. Um, it's really important to get the full message on these cards. Now the seed is the beginning, the origin, and the pearl. When in light, generative, fertile, germinating, and building. When dark, festering, stew, stewing, and dormant. Okay, so the seed represents beginnings. They, they come in many forms. They are not always a beautiful seed placed intentionally in nourishing soil. Origin stories like any birth story are complex, surprising, multi-layered, and usually reveal a central image or detail that represents the fully formed being. Simply stated, the end is present in the beginning, or the entire oak tree resides within the acorn. Whether you follow this imagical theory or not, know that when this card appears, there is potent generative energy all around. It stirs your insides and usually results in antsy, impatient feelings. Pay particular attention to what agitates you, as it is a sure sign of growth to come. You are bumping up against a growth edge. It is a form, it is from the grit that the pearl eventually comes to be. So, Scorpio, you must be going through a, a, a huge awakening within. Um, you're coming up against some anxious feelings, um, impatient feelings, feelings like things aren't moving fast enough. Um, but everything resides within that seed. Um, and that, that seed is eventually going to form. Try and have patience. Try and just take little steps forward every day. And don't 
be concern yourself with the with what you're seeing on that daily basis as far as growth because we can sit and watch our our plant grow um, we don't see anything moving in a day we don't see anything moving in maybe two days but if we look away from that seed that we've planted for a week we start to see the germination process happen so watching over something and I find this myself as um, doing this YouTube channel I've just started I mean it's been maybe 16 days that I've been working on this and I'm constantly watching um, the growth happening um, and some days I don't see anything at all but if I just leave it alone think about something else just work on the creative process um, I find that I'll look at that process in a few days and I'm surprised by what I see I'm seeing the growth but if I look 27 times in one day I don't see anything and so that builds frustration and antsiness and like oh is this ever gonna germinate for me is this ever gonna be something that's gonna you know be a great thing because I don't see it happening um, when I'm looking at it hour after hour but if I let it grow if I keep watering it then something is gonna flower and something beautiful is gonna flower so Spirit says be patient with the process and just keep plugging away with your full heart. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for your archetype. And then we're going to get some more clarification here for you guys um, with the chakra healing. So Spirit, what chakras are going to help Scorpios through this process of creation? Through... Um, Give us some healing cards here for their chakras. Okay, well, I pulled three here. And I'm feeling like they are all very necessary for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for all three. I've been usually doing two for people. Okay, so first of all, we have the throat chakra. Um, Spirit wants you to start working on that throat chakra, working on your communication skills, um, speaking your truth, being authentically true when you speak. Use your words wisely. Um, like I said, and be truthful. Be truthful in your communications. Be honest. Be clear. Having that clarity. Um, working on that throat chakra. When you're feeling stuck in your words, you know, just close your eyes, envision white light in your throat area that that spirit is going to help you open up that communication for your purposes, whatever you need it for. And we have determination. Yes, the seed, the seed is calling for determination. So every step you take forward is going to get you to where you need to go. You know, those fish. They're, they seem to jump, and it's an impossible jump for them to make, but they keep jumping. They keep jumping until finally they make it over that dam, that block, that wall, whatever that is for you. Um, that determination is going to set you apart from others. Um, so just stand strong in that. The determination is coming from the um, solar plexus chakra, the empowering chakra, um, Standing up for yourself, determination, power, strength, all resides there. It's masculine energy. Um, so Spirit wants you to just keep on plugging away at this seed that you're trying to germinate. And then we have psychic development. This is the, um, this is the uh, third eye chakra. Sorry about that. So I'm working on my communication as well <laughs> um, and working on my C because I am a Scorpio myself. And um, so I'm, I'm feeling connected to this reading already in that regard, working on that psychic development, trusting in your intuition, trust your inner knowing. Uh, this is really important for you also, um, you know, and don't beat yourself up. 
uh, and don't think that you don't know because you do know you are awakened you know what's going on um, you have uh, just being a Scorpio you have power powerful intuition as it is but spirit is saying trust in it don't second guess yourself what you are 99% right about things that you intuit about certain aspects and things that are going on in your life so the numbers that we have here if you want to look into those as well for your angel numbers we have three we have seven and we have nine or 21 27 and 16 so three seven and nine for you if you want to look those up I think that's a really those are important for some people I don't really know much about them but I do get a lot out of it when I look up these numbers that I'm given in these readings okay Scorpio I'm gonna go ahead we're gonna pull some angel wisdom tarot spirit can you clarify more for our Scorpios what's happening for them in December And moving them through 2022, the new year. Spirit is being sticky with cards for you. And then, and then they, th they get thrown out all over the place. Um... Spirit, just give us some clarification with these tarot, with our angel wisdom tarot. Oh, here we go. As I said. All right. We have the Knight of Wands. Now, this is a quick moving energy. It's passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. And restless is definitely within the seed. Um, you're feeling this restlessness. You want to get things started. You want to want it to happen now. Um, you want immediate reaction. Trust your instincts, trust your intuition, stay focused. And this could be a passionate relationship coming into your life as well, or um, a rekindling of a passionate relationship happening for you. Um, we have the Eight of Swords too. So um, that feeling of being stuck, um, not being able to see your way forward. This is coming to an end for you. Um, it's just an illusion. The, the um, the things that trap you are loosely around you, the, the cords that tie your hands, the, the um, blindfold that blindfolds you is like, is very loose. You can just, you have the power within you to, um, to get out of this situation. Um, you need to work on your self-confidence because you have what it takes. Um, you have that insight, you have that intuition. Um, working on those chakras that I was telling you about, working on your personal power, your determination is going to help you get out of this, uh, this eight of swords energy. Um, don't feel helpless, get out of fear-based thinking and take action, take responsibility for your life. Now you've got to put in the work spirit has, um, has you in his heart spirit has you in their heart. Spirit, God, the universe, whatever you see as the higher power is here to guide us and protect us through this process. Don't, don't um, get in that energy of fear, anxiety. Don't feel that you're not worth it. Um, We've got to put in the, the work and the energy and the determination to make it happen for us, though. Spirit is guiding us on that path, but we have to take action in what we do. Be determined. Keep plugging away don't worry if it's your passion keep plugging away get the get it out there in the world spirit is here to help you okay and we've got the hermit powerful card of uh, going within um, it's peaceful meditation meaningful solitude shining your light as an example to others Seek out or become a spiritual mentor and self-discovery. So you've been doing the work, you're going within, um, you're working on those things that, uh, that you don't, you have, um, so the 
the chakra healing cards is showing me here that your self-esteem issues probably are stemming from your uh, you're feeling like you can't communicate what you want to truly speak. Um, you're lacking in some determination because you have the seed. You have the seed. But then we have, what do we do with the seed? Um, you have this potential, a huge potential. You have the intuition that you need to bring you forward into your new projects. Um, going within, seeking counsel from your guides, your spirit guides, being grateful to those spirit guides, being okay with the, the solitude that you are needing right now to replenish or heal situations in your life. Spirit, do we have any more clarifications here with our angel tarot? Our beautiful Scorpios. Oh, that's too many cards. I'm going to take the one that landed on the mat here. Oh, yes. And then we've got the meditation. The going within is so important. Insights that come from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. So, okay, I'm seeing here we've got this energy where you want to get going. You want to speed things up. You want to see your manifestation come into reality. You want that seed to start growing. Um, but it's giving you anxiety and fear that maybe you're not good enough um, to get this going. You can break those bonds. We're working on the intuition, developing your intuition, developing your psychic um, abilities because you have that. You have all you need. But going within, introspection, rest, meditation is going to help you so much to get over these anxieties, these fears of not being um, worth it, not, not having this... Uh, not being worth this manifestation that you really want to see happen in your life. You are worth it. You have everything that it takes to do that. But you have to rest right now. And don't beat yourself up about this. It's not about um, being lonely. It's about taking that time for yourself to rest and recuperate from anything that you've been needing to heal from. Um... And just being patient, letting things happen in divine timing for you is going to be really important. You know, don't get caught up in like, oh my God, when is this going to happen? And, you know, I just, maybe I don't have what it takes. Don't give up before the gift has, has begun or has been given because it's coming your way. Spirit is saying it's coming your way. That seed is already tr a tree within it. It's waiting to blossom. It's waiting for the, the right time for the sun to be shining again, um, to help it mature its leaves. Um, trust in that divine timing. Trust in yourself. Spirit, can you give us some elemental oracle cards to help further clarify what Scorpio is needing right now as far as this creative endeavor, the seed that's within them that needs that's trying to burst forward. Give us an elemental oracle for our beautiful Scorpios. And so this is being a very sticky reading. Spirit is making sure that exactly the right card is coming out. Oh, all right, there we go. Yes. So we have uh, the mountain with clarity. 
Spirit wants you to get clarity this um, in the winter and her in hibernation. Right now is a time of hi hibernation and going within. Um, again, we have the number 16 or the number 7 coming out for you. So that's a very spiritual number. 7 is a very spiritual number. Um, you're going through this awakening. Um, take this time to meditate. I'm going to put this over here. Take this time to meditate. To gain clarity, to hibernate, to rest and get yourself where you need to be mentally clear um, and open to spirit to listen to what your guides want you to do in the, with this situation. Um, so you're going to gain clarity. You're going to gain clarity when you go within and you work on meditation, getting more sleep, taking care of yourself. And your um, spiritual uh, awakening is happening for you now. And then we have endurance, the rock. And this, again, is going toward that determination, the, um, you know, the, sol the, the solar plexus chakra. Um, and also the seed and the tree is happening here. You have to, you're being asked to endure this process. Be a rock, ground yourself. Ground yourself in your meditations and doing these meditations and quieting your mind um, from all these fears and uh, lower vibrational thinking, um, wanting things to be sped up onto your timing. There's divine timing here. Um, so this is going to be an endurance training here for you to be patient, to wait for that tree to blossom. Um, and just keep working on uh, yourself and going within. And we have the number two here with that for 20. Okay, so it's, I, I love how these cards are connecting here for you. Um, Spirit, I'm going to pull a botanical inspirations here for you. Maybe you will get, gain some insight about some divine timing here for you when to expect um, the hibernation to be over, perhaps. Um, and a little bit more guidance. These inspirations are so beautiful and connected to the earth with the botanical. Okay. Spirit, what botanical inspiration do we have for our beautiful Scorpios today? Okay. Jeez. I usually get one for people, but today we got three for our beautiful Scorpios. We have Garden Heliotrope, Devotion and Dreams Fulfilled. Yes, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Definitely. And then we have the Clematis, Intelligence and Mental Beauty. Wisdom is the abstract of the past. But beauty is the promise of the future. And I'm going to read more about this. So these seem like summer, early summer timing. And then we have some spring timing here. Friendship and gratitude. Let's be grateful for the people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. Yes. So Spirit wants you to focus on devotion to spirit um, your dreams will be fulfilled. Be going within, trusting that intuition, working on your communication skills. Um, be determined, but also in that determination, you have to know that this is going to be a, a slow moving, even though we have this fast pace, this is your energy wanting it to go faster. But Spirit is saying, slow this down. Go within, meditate, plug away at it, be dedicated, be determined, have endurance, and new things are going to blossom in your life. I'm seeing some spring, I'm seeing some summer cards. I'm going to read um, the inspirations for these here, the heliotrope. Inspiration. Find your one true love. 
and only then give your heart fully. In the meantime, cherish yourself and devote yourself to your passions and dreams. Okay. So I'm not seeing new relationships in your reading per se, but um, I'm seeing devotion to yourself, devotion to your dreams, and like I was saying before, determination and getting them done. Um, cherish yourself. Take that time to give yourself a lot of self-care during this time, during your hibernation period. Um, and then you're going to be coming out of that in, in spring, summer. You're going to start seeing the, the, your efforts that you've started working on slowly to start to happen. Things are going to start happening for you, I believe, in the summertime, starting in spring, the tulip, which is a pretty early bloomer. Okay, and then we have clematis. Keep your feet firmly planted on the ground with the foundation of knowledge. Expand your mind with new experiences. Your spirits will soar to new heights. So keep on learning. Keep on plugging away. Um, I'm definitely seeing that um, this time within is going to feed your project. Whatever this project is, it's going to make it the best of the best. It's going to come into a wonderful place. Um, also finding some joy while you're in hibernation, doing new, new things, um, to take care of yourself that brings joy into your life is going to be extremely powerful for you. Um, and then we have the tulip. And the inspirational message there is share your burdens with your friends and they become lighter. When you share your joys, they multiply and spread. Be grateful for true friends who are there for both the laughter and the tears. Absolutely. So friends are going to be a big part of this. You know, bring them in. Um, share your, your dreams with them. Um, and just... Be grateful for all the little things. Um, so important, you know, and that will help get you out of that energy of like, when is this going to happen for me? When is this? Gonna, why isn't this happening for me yet? Okay, so right now I'm going to be pulling some tea leaf uh, fortunes for you. And which one was first? Let's see what else spirit has to throw our way here. We've got the box. You will receive a gift. And yes, of course, for December, we usually do receive gifts. But I think this is going to be something special that's going to help move you forward in the direction on your path to help grow that seed that you're germinating within you. Um, this is something that's going to be precious, a precious gift. Um, the tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Yes, right now, Spirit is saying, building this foundation with this, this mental, um, meditative, going within, working on your um, intuitive, um, psychic powers right now. Um, this is going to make you, this is going to give you the solid foundation, the grounding that you need to move forward with this idea, with this seed. And germinate it into a giant tree um, because you're gonna want that mental clarity you're gonna want to be able to control your own your emotions in this the situation um, yeah and so working on that high this hibernation period this, and gaining clarity is gonna make you so much stronger um, than if you didn't stop and let divine timing happen um if if you move if you were moving forward quickly like you want to things wouldn't be so stable within your new endeavor spirit do we have any more tea leaves for fortunes for our beautiful scorpios okay oh, i got a few more here we've got the claw be careful do not take risks. Yes, again, right now, it's time to go within. 
it's time to slow down. Um, don't take any risks as far as this endeavor is concerned. Um, right now, it's a time to um, recalibrate yourself, gain clarity, um, learn more. And um, yeah, so Spirit says definitely do not take any um, risks with money um, or getting into partnerships at this point. Just steer clear of that. Do not take risks. And then we've got the jug. Lighthearted, carefree time. Yes, finding your joy um, during this time of reflection is going to be so beneficial for you. It's going to recharge your batteries. Um, and Spirit doesn't want us to be so serious with all this meditation and the hermit and going within. Um, to recalibrate ourselves, we need to find the joy. We need to be lighthearted. We need to laugh. We need to have some good experiences that are just fun, just for fun's sake. Really super important for recharging yourself. And then we have December. So this is December now. This could be the time where the seed of your idea is starting to sprout. Um, you know, this could also have something to do with the box and that you will receive a gift. This gift is going to be a special gift that's going to help you move forward into your new endeavor. Um, this also could be for next December. Like this, could, this energy could be taking you all the way into next December. So, um, and maybe this is when, you know, things start really happening in the summertime. And then it's like a fully blossom tree at, during this next December, like a year's process for all of this to happen for you where you feel and see and um, have abundance from this endeavor um, taking place in your life. So this December, because <laughs> we are in December 2021 now, um, it could be part of that. It's the beginning, maybe the full cycle is happening for you. Um, let me pull a tarot on this real quick, just because I want to get uh, see if what I'm thinking is what Spirit is thinking for you as well. Spirit, can you clarify the December timing for our beautiful Scorpios? This is about coming full circle. Emperor. Okay, the Emperor. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role, and structure and discipline. Well, that doesn't give me more time. That doesn't give me timing, but I'm, I, oh, I'm sorry. I do feel this is actually coming uh, like a full circle sort of a thing. Also, it could be having some, to do with something like um, the seed um, being enriched during this December, and then the full cycle will happen in December of next year, 2022. Um, and... This could be ushered in by a masculine energy, a powerful energy, um, someone who's going to um, bring structure to, to your project, someone who has discipline, um, a mentor perhaps for you. Um, this is a very strong card. This could be um, more about this determination, just depending on what resonates for you because I'm seeing these two different energies here with the emperor and having it be more about you and your determination and tapping into your inner emperor in your situation um, and and really incorporating that determination, that endurance, the, the rock that's within you, that solar plexus energy, because emperor is all about that. Um, also, he represents... Aries as well. So if that's making any connections for you as well, then um, I would look into that um, too. As, as some, this is going to be someone influential in your process. And um, so that is all I am seeing for you guys, for my beautiful Scorpios today. Um, I'm wishing you lots of love and light and um, thanking my spirit guides and your spirit guides for giving us this 
wonderful message. I'm so excited about the seed that you're planting and um, I'm just wishing you guys all the best. Um, if you like my reading, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear your comments as well. So give me a comment in the comment section if this uh, resonated for you or you just want to let me know something about yourself. Um, I really appreciate it. All right, you guys take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.